What's going on everyone? Hopefully you are all doing well. Welcome to another day, another video. I'm trying my best to be consistent. I think this is what, three days in a row now, so doing pretty good to start. Um, today we're just going to talk about what I use to be profitable in the market again today. We're three for three on the week, and it's been really clear these three days. Um, so yeah man, let's get right into it. So. I want to go into replay mode here, and I want to highlight something really quickly. So, this is where I kind of first started looking at the chart, was when price was here. Remember, today we had CPI, which is one of the higher impact news events, and that was at 8.30. So... I don't like to trade directly after the news event. I like to let it marinate a little bit, let it manipulate those people out who are entering longs and shorts too early. And I like to be on this side of the recovery, okay? So what I'm looking at here, when I see the CPI news release, kind of what happened with it, we can see here the CPI news release was this move lower here. And what did I notice at this move lower? Well, I was on the charts at around nine the first time, and then I, I wasn't really trading, I was just looking at the charts, and then around this time here is when I actually started maybe looking for some actual setups, right? But here, after the CPI move, actually, I want to break this down to a 30-minute chart because it's going to show you the CPI candle and the recovery. So what did I notice about the CPI candle? Well, it was really simple. You can see we left this range high right here before CPI. And then when CPI happened, the data was released, you can see we trade lower and we run the sell side liquidity here, but why is this not a shift in market structure? Let's go to like a five minute chart. Why is this here not shifting us lower and why is this fair value gap not delivering us lower? Well, it's really simple. Looking here, we can see when price trades lower like this, we need price to close below the gap that the low is resting in in order for that to be an actual high probability market structure shift, okay? And what do we see here? We see we immediately recover from this, right? So what you'd be looking for after this candle would be to be buying the can the next candle, right, into that drawn liquidity. If you just found an entry anywhere in there, uh, it was about 17, 18, 19 points holding take profit. If you held through a little bit of that, maybe 20, 25 points, right? However, that's not really something I'm looking to take. It's pre-930. That's not usually my style of how I like to trade. So, um, personally, I waited later. And after we've taken out this buy side, which was the previous day high, okay, so we've taken out the previous day high. Now, what I was looking at after we've taken previous day high, let's go back, let's go to replay mode again. My chair forward so I can lock in a bit here. Oh, and I just moved my chair onto my dog. Let's go, man. I love when my dog just lays under my chair and I can't move it. All right, looks like I'll be moving my laptop closer to me instead of me closer to my laptop. Thanks, dog. Ah, jeez, man. But um, after we've ran this buy side, what I was looking at from here. So we've ran the buy side and we've created a range here, right? And we're still delivering from this bearish structure, this bearish mitigation block, okay? So what I'm looking for is price to target, firstly, the CPI low, the low that put in the high that put in the CPI low, and then the low resistance liquidity here at previous day low and at the low resistance liquidity above previous day low okay so these are the levels i actually sent in the discord do i have the discord open i don't um but you can go to my instagram story if you want to see those okay um the live calls and things like that um but these are the levels that i called out when we were about 80 points away and 30 points away is when I called those levels there. I think it was like 35 points away, something like that, is when I would be looking for that setup. I'm not looking to short up here because I'm not looking to hold my, I'm not someone who likes to hold their trades for hours and things. I like to be in and out, 
right? Because the whole point of trading is financial freedom and freedom of time, right? So that's something I just prefer, okay? Now, we can play this out a bit here, and we can see we go in and take those levels. Now, on the live stream, I gave my exact draw liquidity from here. What did I want to see after we took out these levels? Well, I wanted to see us use this as a discounted liquidity sweep and start trading higher to the range high okay and that's exactly what we do we use this as a bullish discounted order pairing okay if we go to like a 30 minute chart we can see we invert the gap here and that right there was enough to tell me that we should go to those range highs, and that's what we did. Now, the setup I actually took today, let me show you. It was a late setup. I didn't get any great entries um, this morning. To be honest, I really was getting no great entry models, um, which is fine. Which is fine. You know, some days it's like that. Some days I don't get the great entry models. My drawing liquidity can be correct. However, my entry model just doesn't appear. However, this was the one setup I got for 1.5 RR and about 45 points of profit. Now, let me break this down for you. Okay, so we had low resistance liquidity forming inside this run lower. And this run lower trades into a discount. You never buy the first tap into a discount. You wait for it to sweep the tap again or SMT at the tap. And if we go to ES, let me show you. Okay, so On ES, you can see on ES we made a higher low here, and on NQ we made a lower low. So we had SMT inside of a discount of the current range, a clear purge and revert, a change in state of delivery and shift in structure, micro shift in structure, and then we have the inversion fair value gap, which was my entry right here, closure above that, Boom, that's my entry right there. My stop loss is at the breaker low, and I'm targeting my draw on liquidity, okay? And I'm just trading a continuation of the current trend. Notice that's all we've been doing. Run lower, trade higher. 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 Run lower, trade higher, Run lower, trade higher. right? So why would I fade it and try and look cool on Twitter when instead I can just follow it and at work eight out of ten times or you can fade it and look cool on twitter one out of ten times whatever you want to do doesn't matter to me right <laughs> but that is everything that went into that trade there and everything that kind of went into my bias for the day pretty simple day nothing too extravagant um but yeah man we're doing 180 days locked in in the discord by the way which has been good so we're on day three of that We've been locked in, two classes a day, YouTube video every day, commentary, trade ideas, analysis, drawing liquidity, all that stuff. It's been good, man. Um, market's been pretty clean the last few days, so hopefully you guys have been able to capitalize on that, and hopefully you're learning a thing or two from these videos on how I view price. Um, yeah, I think that's all I really have for the day. Um, like always, if you want to learn from me, learn my strategy, um, get my draws on liquidity, my trade ideas, all those things, um, trade with me, code YT, it'll get you 50% off, um, your first month of discord. So if you want to do that, bet I'll see you in there. Um, but other than that, man, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Ciao.